dear viewers greetings this present video is about the microbial culture medium and its classification the culture medium is an environment which supports the growth of the microbes and it consists of nutrients which supports the growth of the microbes and the microbes can use the nutrients of culture medium as a food for its growth and its metabolic activities the first culture medium prepared was a meat infusion broth and that medium was prepared by Robert Koch. The organisms that cannot grow in artificial culture medium are known as obligate parasites and examples for some obligate parasites are viruses, mycobacterium leprae, rickettsia species, chlamydia species and tripodema palatum. And the, some of the chemical nutrients uh, required for the microbial growth are uh, macronutrients like uh, potassium, calcium, magnesium and ion. Micronutrients like uh, manganese, zinc, cobalt and molybdenum. Uh, carbon sources, uh, particularly the carbohydrate sugars. Amino acids and nitrogen sources like uh, beef extract, yeast extract and peptone etc. Sulfur source and uh, phosphorus sources. These are all the chemical nutrients required for the growth of microorganisms. And based on the physical state, the culture medium are categorized into three types. One is the solid medium, second one is the semi-solid medium, and third one is the liquid medium. The semi-solid medium or agar medium means the culture medium with 1.5 percentage or 2 percentage of agar agar. The example for the solid medium is uh, nutrient agar and mechanical agar are the very well known examples for the solid medium. Uh, and agar agar is a jelly-like substance obtained from the red algae gelidium species and gracilaria species. And it is a mixture of two polysaccharides uh, like, like agarose and agropectin. The second type is the semi-solid medium. Uh, it is the culture medium with 0.5 percentage agar agar is called as uh, semi-solid agar medium. The example for the semi-solid agar medium is sulfide indole motility medium. And the third type is the liquid medium or broth. That is the culture medium without agar agar is called as liquid medium. And the example for the liquid medium is uh, nutrient broth. Now based on its chemical state, the culture mediums are classified into two types. One is a synthetic or chemically defined medium. The second one is a non-synthetic or chemically undefined medium. The synthetic or chemically defined medium are prepared by mixing all the pure chemicals of known composition. The example is a nutrient agar because uh, for nutrient agar we all are very well versed in the composition of nutrient agar like peptone, beef extract, yeast extract, NaCl, agar agar. The chemical composition of the nutrient agar is very well known. So it is coming under the synthetic or chemically defined culture medium. The second category is a non-synthetic or chemically undefined medium. Uh, the exact chemical composition of this type of culture medium is unknown. The example of this type of culture medium is the potato, potato destrose agar. The potato is the main ingredient used for this potato destrose agar. Uh, we all know that, but the exact ingredients which are all present in the potato are not uh, well defined. So it, this potato destrose agar is coming under the category of uh, chemically undefined medium. And based on its uh, functional use and application, uh, the culture medium are categorized into eight types. And this, this type of classification is a very major classification of the culture medium. Uh, the eight types are basal medium, enriched medium, differential medium or indicator medium, uh, selective medium, enrichment medium, transport medium, anaerobic medium, assay medium and storage medium. These are all the eight important types of a culture medium which are classified on the basis of, uh, of its functional use and its applications. The basal medium, it is basically a simple medium that contains the basic nutrients and supports uh, most non fastidious bacteria. I uh, hope you all know the difference between the fastidious bacteria and non fastidious bacteria. The fastidious bacteria are the bacterial isolates uh, which requires the complex nutrients for its growth. Uh, in contrast, non fastidious microbes or organisms that can uh, live under some basic and common nutrients. The example for the basal medium, example for the basal mediums are nutrient agar, 
nutrient broth and uh, peptone water and this mesal medium are widely used for the primary isolation of the microorganisms the second type is the enriched medium the basal medium enriched with the blood or serum or egg is called as enriched medium and the examples for the enriched medium are uh, blood agar chocolate agar uh, lowenstein jensen medium uh, you know that the cold nutrient agar plus 5 percentage sheep blood is called as uh, blood agar the hot uncooled nutrient agar plus 5 percentage uh, sheep blood is referred as uh, chocolate agar and the lowenstein jensen medium is a uh, egg based medium for the cultivation of uh, mycobacterial tuberculosis the very well known acid fast bacilli which is responsible for causing the tuberculosis diseases in humans and the enriched medium supports the growth of many fastidious microorganisms that is a type of organisms which requires a complex nutrients for its growth next is a differential medium it is also called as an indicator medium it is used to differentiate the characteristic of two microorganisms an indicator particularly the dye is included in this type of medium a particular organism causes change in the color of the indicator and we will visualize that result and the examples of this differential medium includes uh, two very well known examples are blood agar and mcconkey agar the blood agar is used to for the differentiation of hemolytic and non hemolytic bacteria on the basis of uh, hemolysis uh, like alpha beta and uh, gamma hemolysis and the second one is the mcconkey agar it is used for the differentiation of uh, pink colored non uh, lactose fermenting colonies from non lactose fermenting colonies the fourth one is the uh, selective medium the selective medium allows the growth of selective microorganisms and inhibit the growth of other unwanted microorganisms the examples for the selective medium are uh, maridol salt agar for staphylococcus aureus eosin methylene blue agar for escherichia coli Thayer Martin agar for Neisseria gonorrhea, Salmonella shigella agar for Salmonella and shigella, Wilson and Blair agar for Salmonella typhi, Deoxycholate citrate agar for Salmonella typhi, Lowenstein Jensen medium for Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Centrimide agar for Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Pseudomonas isolation agar for Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Kingsby medium. for pseudomonas fluorescens tcbs agar for vibrio cholerae and telluric medium for cornebacterium diphtheria these are all the examples for the selective medium next is the enrichment medium and this enrichment medium is used to increase the relative concentration of the certain microbes in the culture that is prior to plating on the solid medium um, for most of the uh, effluent based research this type of uh, enrichment medium is used to for the isolation of the microorganisms which are frequently present in the wastewater or effluent and typically this enrichment medium are used as a broth and it also inhibits the common cells in the clinical specimens there are some examples of the enrichment medium includes uh, selenate hef broth tetrathiocolate broth alkaline peptone water these three are the very familiar and well known example for the enrichment medium next is the transport medium Uh, this is a medium used for the transportation of the clinical samples and this transport medium prevents the drying or desiccation of the specimens it also maintains the pathogen to commensal ratio and inhibits the overgrowth of unwanted bacteria in the clinical sample and some of the examples for transport medium are caribleus transport medium for cholera venget roman ramakrishnan medium for cholera pikes medium for streptococcus throat infection these are the uh, some of the important uh, transport medium next is anaerobic medium used for the cultivation of anaerobic bacteria like plasmodium species uh, the example for an anaerobic medium is robertson cooked meat medium in short form it is called as rcm it is used for the cultivation of plasmodium species and the assay medium is used for the enumeration of uh, bacteria and assay of antibiotics amino acids and vitamins The examples for assay medium includes Muller Hinton agar for antibiotic assay and standard plate count agar for enumeration of bacteria and other microorganisms in the food samples like milk and water samples. And finally the storage medium. 
the storage medium is a type of uh, medium used for storing the bacteria for a long period of time and the examples for the storage medium are egg saline medium and chalk cooked meat broth these both are the uh, examples for the storage medium okay thank you for your listening thank you